Today, I will tell you how it feels. Choosing a simple life means taking a few decisions. And those decisions can prove challenging. But they can deeply affect your life. This mountain cabin is where our lives change in more ways than one. But this place can be especially harsh on expectations and on your mind. The long hours of darkness in winter are the best place for my brain to work on its own. I found myself with a lot of time to think, to read, to reflect, and often manage enough time on my own to paint a precise picture of my life and my mind. And when I didn't like what I saw, this place offered me a chance to build anew. A few years back, I was a frequent user of Instagram. Not for sharing anything else beside my love for photography, but a user, nonetheless. I'm always with a camera in hand, wherever I go. I've been in love with photography since I can remember. So Instagram felt like the right platform to share and be inspired. But then slowly I realized how much of my behavior was changing. I would go on the app to be inspired, to check out some very good art photography, but then my visit will soon spiral into a scrolling session on whatever the algorithm will present me. Often not related to my main interest. I owe most of my artistic inspiration to the early use of Instagram, and that social media allowed me to discover amazing artists, but in the end, the price was not worth it. And the price was my attention. So I took a decision, a year ago this month, no more social media. I opted out, and a year later, I have never been happier of my choice. It gave me room to grow and try other things. Okay, I'm actually heading out into the forest, risking my life because on the ground it's like, you see it? Ice everywhere. And it's, I think, just uh, one or two degrees above zero and it's cold and it's not a nice day actually and I'm wearing a fancy dress I have a basket and <laughs> I hope I'm not gonna fall up the road and we'll see how it goes we'll try to um, uh, record everything <laughs> I'm not sure how it's gonna end up though so I'm seriously freezing. <laughs> the spot is very nice, but my hands are like... <laughs> it's cold. And um, I'm gonna move to another place now. I think... Up here? For today I think I'm done. <laughs> it's not real my, really my thing, but... I tried and when we get home we'll have a look at the results and <laughs> decide if we can try it again but it was fun it was fun it was fun it was just some time for myself so it was good
My mind relearned to give priority to the things I love. I went back to writing consistently, not only in my journal, but for a book project I had in a drawer for a long time. I even found inspiration to write poetry, even now and then. All these activities don't take much time, but somehow between TV shows and shallow entertainment, it was easy to say, I don't have time. But time is something we perceive differently depending on what we do. A cabin like this one, in the middle of nowhere, with a slow internet connection and no lights pollution has helped me redefine my days. There is always something to take care of. Renovations, feeding the birds, taking care of the forest. You learn to make the most of the hours of light and then you fill the darkest part of the day with activities that really gives you satisfaction. My pace in life feels slower and more meaningful. I dare experiment for the sake of doing it. My phone has become a tool and not a window through which I can see the world or seek approval or gratification. Internet or YouTube, if used with a grain of salt, can prove incredible tools for learning, getting ideas and express oneself. But the pace here is different. There is a different approach. Nowadays, photography, art, drawing, whatever I feel like experimenting with, I'll give it a go. I don't care if I'm good, I'll do the things I do because they are fun, because I love doing them. And often when you love what you do, it shows, and it's all that matters. I'm not saying we publish on social media consciously seeking approval, but nonetheless, we do. And the attention economy explores our human desire for being accepted and turn it against us. Technology is a great resource, but somehow they forgot to tell us how powerful it can be and how deeply it can affect us if not handled with care. We should really respect much more the digital world. It's not a toy. And with respect should come caution. And if you're wondering then why I make YouTube videos? Well, I can say YouTube is different because unless you are some kind of real big celebrity and have a big team of makeup artists, writers and camera operators, it will show you for what you are. With a terrible complexion, with the out of focus moments, with the wrong angle of recording. And all those things, they will make you normal. And that is why here it's easier to build a real community. As you can see, there is a little bit of snow. It's not yet that much, but it's getting whiter and whiter. And they say it's gonna probably snow during the night. So we're gonna see about that. But it's quite nice. It hasn't made that cold yet. It's just about minus, I think minus six or seven degrees. Yeah, that's from uh, <laughs> they do camping here in the summer and it doesn't belong to us and uh, well it's quite nice actually today outside it's I think it's not that cold and it's very dry and the, the snow it's very uh, powdery so it's quite nice actually here everything runs slower you have to wait for the next video for the answer to a comment 
We are complex human beings, and we need a different approach to a life that goes already too fast. Social medias are not helping us do that. They give us the illusion to connect, while they are pushing us just to brush the surface of things. I gave up social medias a long time ago. Instagram was the last one to be erased. But I swear to you, I would never go back. Because life out here, in the world, is way better. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to share your opinion, feel free to write me in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. Or head to my blog and tell me what you think. I really hope to see you again. And until next time, take care. Ciao.